morning. I don't know about you, but I'm really excited to be here in, in Japan. It's, it's, um, it's a fantastic country, and unfortunately the food is excellent, and I'm going to gain some weight. We are going to be around 2,000 people coming here. Um, and from Japan, it's about 200. And I understand from Asia, thank you, Jerome, it's going to be in the range of three to 400 people. That's the reason why we travel the world. We want to have local people coming to ICANN meetings. And here we are again in the morning. <laughs> there is only one person to blame, and that's me, actually, because for logistical reasons, I decided to have the morning opening session in the morning. Yeah. Sometimes my ideas doesn't work out, as my team knows. Um, but next time we have an opening ceremony, it's going to be in the afternoon. Because I'm not allowed to make any more decisions about that going forward. I hope you're going to join me in that. Another more personal thing is that this is my 10th ICANN meeting. Yeah. I said that to my team earlier this week, and then I had some people coming up and say, hey, I was here in Japan last time we were here. So I think I've gone into the freshman status now. But I think I'm starting to know my way around. I always treated working at ICANN as an honor. Um, I actually have never had a better job in my life. This is one of the most fun things I've ever done, with some exceptions going up in the morning, but apart from that, it is a real honor. And I know that my, the team I'm working with at ICANN Org also feel it is an honor. It's not always easy, but, and we're always trying to do our best. But it's been fun so far. Take a step back, as I usually say. Over the last 30 years, 4, million, 4 billion people, more or less, has come online. I mean, the internet, we always talk about this, that the internet has changed the way we do things, everything from our banking to our love life. It has a real profound effect on the way we live. And one of the amazing things with this technology, it wasn't really done in a, from a telco or a product company or anything else. That people got connected to the internet was something that people decided to do. That makes this technology very, very unique because it wasn't packaged the way that other products are done. And the other thing that is very, very rare with this is the fact that the way the internet governance or the governance of what we're doing is a pure multi-stakeholder model. And I think that's a part of its success, from the people to the people. But we also reached the point where, because of the impact of society, not everybody is happy with it. We see many legislative proposals around the world, and ICANN is a technical organization. We don't go into politics, but we see technical, we see sometimes that can have an impact on your ability to make policies or to have people disconnecting from the internet. And one of the things we see, there seems to be misunderstanding what the internet actually is and platforms on top of the internet. Many of the discussions about hate speech and other things is actually on platforms on the internet. You use the internet to reach that platform. That's not the internet. One of the things we need to be better at is to inform and educate legislators around the world about that difference. So with good intent, they don't block people coming on to the internet. That is one of the reasons why you saw that we, a couple of weeks ago, came out with a new charter, a proposal for a charter, how to engage with governments around the world to educate and tell where actually internet itself could be at risk. It's also on that note that you have seen that we applied for membership of ITUD because we want to be in the room with our own flag when things like this are discussed, joining our friends in ISOC and the RRRs in that arena. But it's not only <laughs> legislative things that are happening. We also have technical. I was, had the pleasure of being in uh, Barcelona uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, for the GSMA World Mobile Congress, where there are many discussions about how 5G is going to save the world. I'm a little bit cynical because I'm, I was there when 2G is going to save the world, and 3G, and 4G, and now 5G, and apparently also 6G. It says here, don't make any jokes about 6G. 
in that, the presentation was given said, there is a best effort internet, implying there's another internet. Another internet not using the identifiers we talk about that makes it possible for people all around the world to connect to one single network. And we have to watch out, not only for the legislative proposals, which often are for good intent, but also for technology, technology solutions that actually can harm people's ability to join the internet. Because it's the thing for me, this community, you, more than me, has been able to do very good solutions on some of the really hard pressing problems that has existed to create this ability. And I happen to believe, and I'm stubborn in that, that this multi-stakeholder model is much better of taking on some of those pressures than local governments around the world. And I believe that because we have proven internet works. And internet is boundaryless, and there is a risk. If we see too many local legislations or technical development, we can actually fragmentize what I believe in, which is the internet. And especially now when we enter discussion about cybersecurity, for instance, many of you are aware an increased pattern of attacks on the DNS over the last couple of months. And I'm happy to see that we're going to have many sessions here about that. With that, I also want to join and thank the expedited PDP, both the people in it, but also my team. The amount of work you put into that one is absolutely staggering. It's, 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 it's easy to say that I'm grateful. All the discussions, everything you did. Remember that during a very short period of time, they were actually, t they were actually doing something to close off a discussion that was existing within ICANN for the last 20 years. I applaud you for that. I also want to thank my own study group, the technical study group under the leadership of RAM, who during this meeting is going to present a, potential, a technical solution that potentially can diminish the contracted party's legal responsibilities, which will give the opportunity for the ICANN community to potentially create a unified access model for Huawei's data. I'm not going to be long, usually because I don't like to speak very long. So my final job is to do this, is to announce formally that this is going to be the best ICANN meeting ever. Thank you very much. Thank you.